Thank you very much, President. And may I start, as the previous speaker did, um, and, and, and repeat what I said last week during the hearing, and that is that uh, I, would love, uh, I would like to offer my deepest sympathy uh, for all those who have been put in harm's way in beautiful Valencia and, and beyond. And if anything, let, let that be a sober reminder that we should do our utmost to stand with our people, particularly those in, in, in these areas, but also make the most of, uh, of all that we need to do in terms of battling climate change. Secondly, let me um, commend this esteemed parliament, and particularly those who have been on the forefront of more climate action and those who will be traveling with us to the COP. We might have our differences in, 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 this house, in, in this house, but I think if you do zoom out, you see how much we have in common, and, and this parliament has been truly a force for good in, in fighting for, for more mitigation, more adaptation, and has been a huge supporter of, of the Commission, as I've experienced last year. So I wanted to, be, I wanted to, to express my, my gratitude for that, and I hope we can, we can you know, have that exact same spirit during, during this COP. President, I've had, I think, four specific questions, and I'll try to do justice to them with six uh, answers, by the way, which have been uh, articulated also already uh, by, by the Council. Now, I'll do them very staccato, given that I have a limited, limited amount of time. First and foremost, of course, the NCQG is, is on the top of our agenda, and, and, and there the, the approach of the European Union is pretty straightforward. We'll do our utmost to beef up the number, we will make sure that the money lands with those most in need, and it is absolutely pivotal that we broaden the solution space and bring others, and that means private sector financing, but also uh, other parties that have not yet done so, to the table in taking their share of, the, of, 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 of responsibility. That is one. Secondly, um, we will do our utmost to make sure we further enhance the UAE consensus, and that is of, of great importance also because the, the, the next COP will see the NDCs and there is much more that needs to be done, by the way also by us, in making sure that we put ambition on the table there. At a later stage we will have a conversation about the, 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 the 2040 uh, goals here, uh, but for now it is of, 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 of great importance that we push forward on this uh, at the COP. Third, and that is something that is, as many of the, 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 the esteemed members know, a topic particularly close to my heart, that is pricing carbon and, and making sure we move forward on art, Article 6. Um, the, the good news here is that, is that I do think there is um, an opportunity to make steps forward, but of course the, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. And that means that we need to make sure that not only we agree on, on a viable text, but also that we keep the integrity of this whole system uh, alive. Because only if we do that, only if we have a solid foundation uh, in terms of credibility will this system actually um, do what, it, uh, what, what we hope it will do. Adaptation, the, um, uh, the, the, the next item on the list, um, clearly very much a part of the focus of the next commission. Um, a lot of work that needs, to be, that needs to happen within the European Union, but increasingly also a topic that, is, that has the attention of the rest of the world. And the rest of the world is looking for our leadership from that perspective as well. So that will be very high on the agenda. Then fifth, um, we are um, calling on all parties to submit the first biennial transparency reports by the end of, of, of this year. Because transparency, measuring, making sure we see what is happening in reality next to the, the promises we have, uh, we have made is essential in seeing whether we're moving in, in the right direction. And sixth and finally, um, as always, we will um, stand up for human rights. We will stand up for uh, everyone who is coming to the, uh, to, to, to the COP and, 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 and likes to participate um, uh, and make sure that that spirit stays alive also at this COP. Thank you very much. I know it is brief, but I've probably already um, treaded over my time. Where's the clock? There's the clock. Um, so I'll leave it here, um, Mr. President, and I'm very much looking forward to the questions of the Members of Parliament. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.